but not uh, so financially supported by the Philippine government. Uh, yeah, it was largely through the AAP. Yeah, and some other sponsorships. Yeah. Uh, so, but Hoya and Hoya was the president of the AAP at that time. Yeah. So, what else is new? And uh, Abueva was also an officer. I think secretary or something. But he was there. I, I interviewed Emmanuel Torres, who was the commissioner of the of the pavilion, and I, I asked him if uh, those two were really his choices. Uh, and then he said, well, well, there was a panel, and, but he, and then I said, uh, why did you choose them? I said, because they were the most prepared. They were the most prepared to go to Venice, but he thought that he, 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 but his other choice was uh, Aguinaldo. He thought that Aguinaldo should have gone. Uh, I don't know, instead of whom. <laughs> he wouldn't say. <laughs> but he said, I think he said that maybe Aguinaldo was the better. But I also told him, but what about David Medalia? Medalia was already out of the country. And what about Nena Sagin? He was already out of the country. So, uh, so those two went there. Uh, oh yeah, this went to this went to Venice, uh, and also the hills of Nico went to Venice. And yeah, so this Elizabeth Chan was a, a mosaicist who worked in who worked, who worked in Italy, and he and she helped. She helped in the. In one way or another, in, in the in the pavilion, in, the, in making the pavilion uh, possible, and then Sobel. In sixty, it was sixty four. In sixty two, Sobel was in Venice, but in the Spanish pavilion, in the Spanish pavilion. So he was represented in the Spanish pavilion. So it's, it's interesting. Sixty two, you had Sobel there. Sixty four, you had the Philippine pavilion, and David Medalla was in Venice in sixty four in another exhibition. And, the, and the, to, Eric Torres was telling me that, in fact, there was more buzz for Medallia at that time. There was more buzz, I mean, more interest in Medallia at that time. Uh, so he was there too. So in, from 62 to 64, there was a marked Philippine presence, from Sobel to the pavilion to David Medallia. At least in Venice. Yeah. This is Sobel. And then we, uh, we, we also included, of course, sculpture, which is an important expression. We're trying to revisit the work of Renato Rocha, who is not so uh, well known, no? and uh, Intifonso Marcelo. No? Yeah. And of course, uh, J.B. Sandin. Imao, Imao too, I think it's important uh, um, artist in this period, aside from bringing in the, the Muslim element, uh, he also trained as a documentary photographer in New York. No? So I'm interested if he has some photographs too in the collection. And then, of course, there was this interesting market scene, no? uh, and uh, much controversy has surrounded Salameda, and quite juicy gossip. So I included him for his sheer uh, <laughs> ability to stimulate the scene with uh, not only with art but also with uh, character. So uh, Salameda is here. <laughs> and Paponay conception. Yeah. And Senon Rivera, uh, 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 important artist uh, of the PAG, part of the PAG, almost like uh, stained glass, no? uh, and strong sense of design. Alcoa, yeah. who was uh, well known, who was part of. Uh, 
by Grand Lord Quarterly of Artists in Spain. And one prizes in Spain, uh, well, that's the distinction of um, Alcaraz. And then we, we, we moved towards uh, 69 with the, with the uh, building of, uh, of the CCP. And you have Imelda Marcos there with uh, Jaime Sobel de Ayala, who was the uh, founding president of the CCP with Mrs. Marcos as the chair. Yeah? And so I, I, I want to constellate these relationships. No? So Bell, I mean so Bell, Marcos, no? and the development of modernism, Luxin, the development of Makati, no? with the Ayalas. No? So I, I, I want that constellation. Because the, 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 these are very important coordinates no? that sometimes are lost on us. Yeah, and Arturo Luz in this gallery, which was a strong, uh, important, uh, important site of uh, circulation of modern art. Uh, Luz uh, was a tastemaker. No? Luz uh, was an artist. Was, uh, for, for, for a while, uh, for some time, he was the head of three important institutions. No? Uh, concurrently, he was the head of uh, the Design Center, of the Design Center of Philippines. He was the head of Museum of Philippine Art, and he was the head of Metropolitan Museum of Manila. So he was really uh, an important person in, 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 the, in the institutional. And he was an artist. He was in the market. He had gallery. So yeah, and he was an artist. So I think it was Rod Perez who said that. Was it Rod Perez? Maybe Alfredo Rosas has said that uh, it was Sobel, Luxine, and Luz who formed uh, a time center of uh, tastemakers. Mm -hmm. uh, but the big medallion uh, had this protest at the opening of the CCP uh, within striking distance of Mrs. Marcos. Yeah, mystification. I understand that this banner is still with the bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still with the bill. Abala mystification, Dominic Philistines. No? Uh, Reagan was the, well, Ronald Reagan was the guest of honor. Uh, President Nixon sent him to, be, to grace the opening of the CCP in 69. And then we, this is the last, uh, we, uh, the latter part of the 60s, there was a, I would like to reference uh, Benedicto Cabrera uh, because of first his engagement with the colonial archive and everyday life and his influence on social realism in the 70s. So I, I wanted to end the period with, with a little bit of Benedicto Cabrera. No? Of course, Sabel has mutated into other forms, but uh, Sabel in this particular uh, period uh, uh, absorbed the, uh, like the certain urgencies that uh, uh, were quite important for a certain social realism to also develop. No? And in fact, even Alice Guillermo acknowledges the role of uh, being Victor Cabrera in the development of a social realist uh, aesthetic. No? So this is, uh, and then the abstraction of HR of Campo, um, because HR was uh, 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 developed an abstract language beyond this uh, regulation. And, um, and, and then the develop, further development of abstraction uh, through, by way of the Apinal. Mm -hmm. Beyond, of course, Hoya. And uh, the development of prints no? uh, through uh, Royal Palace. And uh, 
entertainment I was reviewing the assessments of critics like Vanessa and uh, Emmanuel Torres they were quite appreciative of the work of Lamberto Echanova which uh, has been neglected uh, in our time they say that Echanova was able to create this uh, like middle ground language between a certain internationalism on the one hand and a certain like folk baroque style on the other which is supposedly more Philippine and so they 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 they, they, they place great importance on the work of Lamberto Luchanova which uh, I think should so we should look at maybe the work of Chanova more. Yeah. And then I end the book with uh, Mars Galang. No? Uh, it is development of uh, the found of I mean the, the, the language for for, for found object and mixed mixed media. Now Mars Galang was also part of that protest with, with the Vietnam. So I think that's the, uh, I didn't include the stalwarts of the CCP, no? uh, I'm sure you know them. Uh, uh, <laughs> because I didn't want to preempt the, uh, the, 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 the next seat from 72. So that's the problem with, I mean, if you introduce them, there's the burden to expound on them. So I thought that it's best to expound on them uh, in the next uh, in the next book of the series. So the work of uh, Roberto Chabet and Raimondo Albano and the, those people who were in the CCP might be best uh, more productively elaborated on in the next series, if ever there will be one, but I'm sure there will be one sometime soon. But, uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, this is the book, uh, 48 to 69, Art, Art After All. So, thank you very much. Significance is a uh, is a constructed value, no? so it's really depends on how you create a certain profile of significance for a particular work or a particular artist. No? So if 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 there's a more reflexive framework and more hospitable framework, then the range of uh, constructed values for significance also uh, considerably broadens. No? So, so what ha what happens here is that th th that is it. I mean, I put it in place this reflexive framework so that that uh, that broader uh, framework of uh, significance could. Could, could be achieved, no? So if they become part of the framework, then they assume a level of, of significance. But having said that, we, we cannot include everyone. No? So I'm not saying that 
uh, when why my framework might be more open or more reflexive or more hospitable it, it's not uh, it doesn't uh, admit uh, everyone and everything no? so and uh, I mean this is not the last book on Philippine art right so it, it also meant to encourage others to uh, create more narratives uh, around, well, on, on, on Philippine art. But uh, I'd like to, well, introduce a framework that will create broader conditions for these narratives to prosper. Otherwise, if we're limited to the traditional framework, then we'll get stuck with masters all the time, no? which is uh, you know, not so interesting and also very uh, untruthful. Because that, that was, I mean, it, 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 I mean, that's, um, I mean, if, if you look at the period and if you look at the, uh, like the, um, the more granular details of the time, then you will realize that it was a more complex, more complicated uh, scene. And, but the, this, the, uh, but of course, art history is a shorthand uh, of, 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 of that scene. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of arbitrary devices like binarisms, you see a lot of those, uh, some like, strict periodizations. Exclusion, that's not necessarily uh, mm -hmm. anything. Exclusion. Exclusion of some, somebody. Uh, have you forgotten somebody? Uh, I'm sure I have, I did. Yeah, well, some I don't know. Because uh, the, the problem also is the archive. Yeah, I mean, uh, new material, new data coming all the time, no? So you try to fit in, but of course, but you have to write the book already, yeah. So you're you're left with uh, whatever you, uh, yeah. I'm sure people can take up the, the task. I mean, beyond this book, but yeah, of course, there will always be exclusions, and uh, uh, if the uh, but exclusions are opportunities for possible inclusion uh, in another framework. Uh, so uh, many of these of the artists here are not included in standard uh, art history books. No? And so I'm quite happy. I mean, uh, change change is usually incremental. No? Yeah, in, um, in a highly regulated field. Say, uh, so, but this is one important increment, not just to, to, to have a space for these people. At what point did you choose the demonstrator? Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, I think it was more. Uh, No, no logis, logistical, I think. Um, uh, Olivia, the publisher, wanted uh, a volume that had a broader appeal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had a broader appeal. He said, uh, maybe uh, if it's just a more solo period, it might be a bit you know, a specialized period. Um, but the, this covers a, quite a range of artistic persuasion. So from a publisher standpoint, I mean that makes sense. No? It, it's difficult to sell books. Huh? Uh, it's 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 really difficult, and uh, uh, it's difficult to move. And the publisher uh, has realized certain hard facts of the trade. No? Uh, uh, yeah, that uh, difficult to move it in terms of retail and. Secondly, she cannot depend on the artwork to move it. He, she thought 
at first that the art world will be able to move it, no? No. She, she was so disappointed that uh, even collectors would just buy one or not even. So, uh, so uh, this, uh, I think, uh, there should be, the, the art market is active, but the discourse on the art is not. And uh, that's why we're trying to do something. So, for the next volume, will we be doing immediately after, or? I think that? before. Uh, uh, yeah, because the art time is more stable, more established. And if there are really, I mean, if the artists are still alive, it, I mean, it becomes more contentious. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> then men tell no <laughs> But uh, if you bounce into this artist and this in the book and then okay, so uh, so we be we should be more careful with that. It's it's more tricky. Yeah, to deal with uh, you know warm bodies. Yeah, so but uh, then once I mean the <laughs> I mean, the archive is more stable, the scholarship is more established. But the 70s is a tricky period, so I said maybe not yet. Uh, we need more time to do research on the 70s because it's the next one, right? Maybe 70 to 83, something like that. But here, we, 1920, I'd like to begin with the... With the National the legislative building, the legislative building. I think that is 26. Yeah. Because I want to reference Aureliano, who was part of the architect, the painter, who was part of it, and also Isabella Tampinko, whose sculptures are in the building. And it would end in 47. Yeah, that, that is the real plan. Well, if he gets, she gets her money back or something. <laughs> but if she does, and then, well, we'll be stuck for this for a long time. <laughs> for some time. No, yeah, because she's an independent publisher, mm -hmm. and she, uh, in, in terms of financial structure, it's a fairly one person thing. Yeah, it yes. was funded by one person. So, uh, We'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it moves. And we'll calibrate the, uh, our strategies accordingly. Question? So, do you have, yeah. in the two time to deal with the formation of Philippine politics for artists? You cover a period where it's only at a certain point in galleries as we know that they start popping up. You know? And before that, people would just have to go straight to the artist. And then, so the, the way we can see what public is isn't, isn't, I mean, isn't a given. So at the same time, because since you, you sort of sectioned it with this, I mean, when you're reading the quotes on the section, you see that these are, uh, how is it, these are sort of uh, utterances that, that influence how, how things move. It, it seemed, the, the three they came together seemed rather centripetal. Outward looking, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to like getting getting down on the ground. But it's, I mean, but in the same book, you discuss um, broadening movements towards broadening, like I say, common goals, etc. So, do you get to discuss this dynamics? Yeah, we, in a way, no? because uh, the book doesn't allow me to really be monographic no? because of the book is on the one hand, on the one hand, it's meant to introduce. I mean, so it's just like uh, uh, like the setting of a horizon because there is none at the moment or very vague one at the moment. So it doesn't allow it to be monographic and to be very granular, but uh, it allows me to introduce certain uh, concerns. No? Like the formation of the public can be seen through first, uh, it's quite evident in how Urita Kalo Lidesma would uh, 
conceptualize the idea because he thought that she thought that the scene was so unprofessional that yeah people would go to the artist and then the artist pieces and and then the artists were treated like uh, amateur I mean, or some did paint or so so I, I could read some like um, a certain desire for modernity in a way in terms of structure and the formation of an institution. So that could be symptomatic of the formation of the public through history, institutional means. But there were also uh, efforts uh, to study, let us say, art education through uh, Pablo Victorian and uh, the work of Arceli Tanz and Brenda Barda no? in the, the, for the Philippines. Um, Art Educators Association, uh, and of course the the public that was around the PAG, the PAG, the Philippine Art Gallery, and uh, yeah. But this is the art world, the art world public uh, generally. It might be in the first book. In the, in the series in which we would see uh, a larger public being um, drawn into the debates. Because the debates between conservative and modern spilled over to the newspapers, to the press. Uh, to the press. So, the, so the polemics, the polemics permeated the uh, well, uh, so, uh, social sphere behind the art world. So that might be uh, the lead there, but uh, yeah. And then your second question on the centripetal movement, like I think centripetal is the trivial, like going outside. Is it? Yeah. Uh, looking, looking at the quotes, it's like mm -hmm. becoming aware of the world, like catching up, yeah. and, then, and then being more and more involved in the world. In the world, yeah. But, uh, that was the anxiety uh, of the uh, modern to belong to a wider world, to be conversant with what was happening elsewhere. So, but at the same time, there there are quotes also in the book that uh, would uh, pull the artist in another direction, like uh, identity, very strong very strong, some kind of commitment to the social condition, also very strong. So there was that, there were like a almost double movement, looking at, I mean looking to uh, a world beyond the nation, or beyond one's culture, and then of course being good on, on the one hand and on the other being rooted in, in, in identity, in tradition, in what is what is Philippine art, and so on and so forth. So there was this like uh, tension uh, between, between the two. And uh, Gallo and Acampo had interesting remarks on that, uh, on Philippine art being actually uh, not so, uh, I mean, not yet uh, on the level of, of, of uh, although they were attuned, they, they were not, uh, I mean, they couldn't achieve a certain measure of, you know, acceptance into the new world scene. So you, you, you have those contradictions to running across the mm -hmm. Then mass movements might feel more as a sort of broadening of the public as well. Ah, yeah, especially with the Kaisan, the social realist, so the beginning with the NPAA, the NPAA 71 72, but actually it started in 69. So I'll pick it up from, 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 from that. But but I that's why I ended with Ben Cab and 
ethanol and then cap and Mars gallon because they, they reference uh, 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 certain aspects of the of the of the kind of modern a uh, kind of postwar modern postwar modernism but at the same time they also anticipate anticipate developments beyond uh, postwar modernism so you have let us say uh, experimental art of the CCP yeah or uh, and the social realism outside CCP so uh, will give me more uh, the opportunity to do that. That's why it also becomes more difficult uh, uh, when you go to the 70s. It's really the turning point. Yeah. The turning point, uh, a flash point, the, the, the 70s and the 70s. But by that time, the discourse is already dense and robust because the modernism was as you, can, as you saw, it was already very multi-layer. Yeah. Um, there is a book that more or less covers the same uh, territory as this one has. Uh, that is not to compare because, um, uh, if I may say, it must, it must be inclusive of the world. Uh, that's why um, I think one of the Merit of this book is its inclusiveness in treating the period at least, no, which in Puritakala's uh, struggle for fifteen art, uh, it was more the looking in rather than the looking out. No? And would you say that that's one of the uh, uh, characteristics of uh, how uh, uh, your book has? Sort of taken off from where Puritas uh, book struggle for fifteen art was taken up because in, in a sense that was a book that was in a way significant unto itself because previous to that there was no book that sort of the balance some to be the summation of modernism. So I sort of am reminded, and, but there, there's a very, there are many ways, there are many stark differences, <coughs> lalo na dun sa structure ng book. Although there are artists and para topics of art, mga interspaces na nagko-connect dun sa dalawa. Yeah. Like the book of Corita and Amadis, no? Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Of Amadis, I'm really a struggle for people. Very important. It, it came out of Porita's thesis, yeah, master's thesis at the College of Education. In fact, it's still there. I looked at it, it's in on the shelf. Yeah, with very nice uh, photographs. Yeah. So, but he, uh, yeah, yeah, but, but, but she updated the thesis, uh, maybe with the help of Amadis. So, and turned it into this book. Yeah, it also begins with 48 and more or less covers the CCP and yeah, the PHG. Yeah. So it's, uh, uh, and it also has sections on building art education, also section on, on art critics. <coughs> but yeah, so it's important. Uh, and then the other book of Corita on the PHG. The little black, the, the little the one with the red, right, little big room. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with a very quirky book design. Book design. Yeah. yeah. So those two very important for this period. Yeah. So, but they cover, they largely cover the um, uh, the art world yes. discourse. Yes. I wanted to broaden the art world to include other spaces in which art was produced and that was Manila centric yeah, yeah Manila centric but um, important I think those two but those two books also form the um, also the normative the, 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 uh, the standard uh, narrative of, of Philippine modern art the 
because they were Polita was uh, an interested an insert an interested subject meaning as a partisan as a partisan I was a partisan in the trenches of like let us say the war between the moderns and the, and the conservatives uh, she tried to accommodate the conservatives but clearly she was uh, she she favored uh, modernism so in many ways for it uh, helped uh, develop this discourse for the modern as the dominant discourse. Uh, like some kind of uh, like a teleology that would that in the terms of, because if we follow linear time that that, uh, that there's this sequence from let us say uh, the conservative to the water. So they, they, they try to uh, sustain a progressivist uh, progressivist mindset. That, that kind of uh, sequence from the primitive to the modern. And that modernism is a movement toward, towards greater refinement, towards greater sophistication, something like that. But they, they miss out on, let us say, uh, uh, kitsch, for instance. Like, uh, Manansala's cubism became kitsch at some point. That's very clear, like you're going to say. That's very clear. But of course, they wouldn't say that. But it's, and then when you look at kitsch and Mabini, it becomes more interesting. Like, uh, when Manansala's cubism became becomes kids and you look at it in relation to Mabini art and it becomes more complicated. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, especially if the market catches up with the style, then a certain level of kids develops. Yeah. So, uh, but, but Polita doesn't go there. No? I mean, in terms of age, she wants to like, preserve the ascendancy of, of the modern. That the, the struggle for Philippine art is a struggle for the modern. That's the unstated declaration. Uh, space for them in the framework. No? So new research, new material would come in and to uh, further stake out that space no? so that uh, a, uh, you know, maybe a more fertile field could develop. I'm sure there are in, uh, I serve I suppose in Bacol, might, there might be. Well, jazz icon is a representative. So jazz is from there, uh, so, so, you know, and uh, Mar Mar Martino from Cebu. Yeah, I, I don't know. So 
this also invites the work from uh, local artists, really, huh? local artistry. Uh, artists that should not always be written in Manila. There should be artists to be written in in the well outside outside Manila. You know? And since the uh, people, I mean, our colleagues there are more in touch with the the scene. They should have more access. We can't do everything, but yeah, but yeah, it's important to create this network of uh, scholars in the in the, in the local. So, so I'm sure, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but, uh, I'm sure there might have been some yeah, uh, students in the School of Fine Arts who came from the regions and went back to the regions. And, uh, Lungai from Boho, but from Boho, yeah, yeah. Lungai, the classmate of Boya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very uh, historiographic uh, view in, in this in this book. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Um, a view questioning a previous system. Uh, well, in a way, yeah, uh, as an effect. <laughs> yeah, I, of course, I do not say that, uh, and I don't use words like historiography, but because it's more than a syllabus, and it becomes a problem. Uh, so yeah, and we, yeah. I clearly break that my language in the because it's. The audience is, is broader, but I think it's an important challenge to take up to to calibrate one's language to reach uh, another sector. Uh, yeah, but we yeah, we convey the same point, I suppose. Um, of course, it will not be the same point because it's a different language. But uh, uh, but uh, maybe the same. Sentiments. What's the expression that you pose against that previous system? Well, a framework, largely framework, of not only uh, inclusion and exclusion, but you know the basis of, uh, of this. I wanted to destabilize linear, but the linear is what we are really doomed to this. Uh, a billion time of linearity. I mean, I think, I, I mean, the publisher won't allow. I mean, if I mix it up too much, like, like begin with the genome, I mean, for example, for instance, or begin with, let us say, Cochin. So, I mean, but I'm not saying it cannot be done. It can be curated that way in the book. But, uh, I mean, the, the, these things have a specific purpose. No? So, I, am, I was in a state of awareness <laughs> <laughs> of how this book will circulate. So, that's why I, I, I found the, uh, just the right, maybe the, I mean, the most feasible tone and strategy. How long did it take for them? Maybe two years. Because they had to photograph. I mean, some were like, logistical. And then it was difficult to look for the works. And some didn't want to, I mean, give permission. It has become also very hard now because of this copyright thing. So people would like to protect. To in a way also gain some, well, gain financially from uh, permissions. It, it's, it's, uh, before, I mean, I mean, you could just, I mean, I mean uh, scan or something. But now, with the copyright becoming stricter, I mean, it's also good, but it's difficult. In fact, in, there was a survey of, uh, I think, 40% of publications in art have failed. 40%. So 
how they uh, added it. I mean, are fair. I mean, because of uh, copyright problems. I mean, they didn't push through because of the uh, copyright problems. problems. Some are really uh, difficult. I mean, some stipulations of owners are I mean, difficult to surmount. I mean, yeah, it's not so easy anymore. For them to open up their or to open their collection and grab permissions or all this. Who is that? that I don't know. Oh, supposed to. Because they think it's a commercial venture that will make money out of it, so they should make money out of it as well. Or they think the tax will be no percentage of Because it's a one time thing, anyway. Um, because the permission is one time and they just seek permission to pub publish the image in this book and then that's it. If you reprint, then you ask another permission. And then it's totally okay. But, uh, but I'm not saying all. But uh, that's another, the, the problem with publishing, with this kind of publishing is that there is no structure. So there is no research structure. Right? There is no like photo research structure. There should be a separate structure to just look for the works. Mm. Mm. But I want, I cannot do that. Well, I try to well, put in place some kind of procedure. Let, 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 us, let us do an inventory of published images of the artists who will be chosen, right? So that was also difficult. That we, we try to, in, but we try to do that at some level. Inventory all published images and check it against those that are not published so you look for them in where in private collections right so where are they and then if you want a published image and want to take a photograph of it again where is it now right if you see it's a book there in philippine in the book i'd like a i saw an email for instance where is this email now? I cannot do that. I cannot do the research for that. Someone has to do that, right? Yeah, who will do that? If it's Olivia Yao, it's just Olivia Yao. Only one person. Yeah? So that's the problem because there is no structure. So there's no like uh, research structure. Yeah? And then there's no like, uh, yeah, um, to begin with. So are you saying that when you collected all of the para images and uh, of the artworks by the schools and artists. Parang, ano na, parang they were already part of your <laughs> arsenal, so to speak, na I will do this, I will do that. Nothing came out of a, parang out of the gathering, you found or discovered Oh, you mean to from a welter? Oh, from a welter. Or there was no welter. There was, uh, there was, there were, there were default sites to consult, like public, public collections, and then also uh, collectors who are open, like Pauline okay, for instance. So, so because some are. Uh, not open. You know that they are. They, they have collect. They have collections. They have a collection, but they don't want to share. The, I mean, they don't even want you to to look at the pieces. And they're quite protected. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So that, that yeah, there were default sites to consult, and then also to source from. So would you say someone who has a plan to make a book or make a material looking at, for example, Philippine art around this time, or maybe a little bit beyond or before, will have a very difficult time if the framework of the book or the material for instance is about art patronage because you are already talking about owners. Yeah, yeah, art, yeah. We tr I tried to uh, account for some of the collectors of the period. 
Yeah. So I under like uh, two paragraphs uh, on collecting, but uh, sketching. Yeah. I mean, yeah, difficult, very, very yeah, difficult. I, I'm sure it's a fraction. But there were some discoveries that this living room has this rocha, <laughs> something like that, and uh, yeah. And we were also trying to, of course, uh, be careful with forgeries. Mm -hmm. Because there are, I mean, uh, forgery has uh, polluted the market and also artists. So difficult. I mean, there, there should be a caution in choosing. We might be perpetuating something that is uh, forgery. So that was another. Consideration, but I'm sure the the pictures here are like a fraction. I'm sure there are more in private collection, but the public collections we have exhausted. But the problem is that they they keep on repeating. Like we have seen our Philippines, you see, and that's the problem. So we also wanted uh, some kind of variety, like yeah, too, too much exposure. Like, I mean, this guy, this Manansala, I mean, I've seen this Manansala for the end of time. Is there, I mean, but are there other Manansala? <laughs> <laughs> there is more. Did more. Yeah. But he did more. But there are two ones. There are two ones. And HRs. Oh, age, of course. But, uh, there are some real good vibes. Yeah, but yeah, they're private collectors. I don't, I don't know how to, and you have to gain their trust too. So you need like uh, middle people, go go between, yeah, intermediaries to, to, uh, to, yeah. And some would even demand like, how will, how will my father be treated in the narrative? Oh. So yeah, well. He'll be treated well. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then uh, or but why is my father in this period? They should be the next period, something like that. So they also want to control the narrative. Uh, yeah, they have become covertos or uh, I don't know, protective. But it's their right, of course, as heirs, to, to preserve the image or reputation. But this is artist too, so and the, the artist is fair game for, the, for any kind of critical reflection. Unless it's not like, of course, so long as it's not you know, liable. So it's an opinion. Of Yeah. I know. So, yeah. 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 So, Yeah, some uh, some interesting Malayan artists I did find, and uh, I had a we had a problem with a national artist uh, who is not represented there because of some problems with the family. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> if you find out. And uh, <laughs> later now. <laughs> it's a suggested detail price. And, uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I, I, I don't, not, nothing really comes to my mind right now. I I for sure some yeah, yeah, for sure. I think there were people who were neglected or overlooked. But uh, this is a continuum.
continuing process. What's, in, what's good about the series is that you can pick it up in the next plan, right? You just find a way to do it. <laughs> uh, so it's a, a, a way of making your slot for an oversight. Or you can use Yeah, I mentioned uh, there's a porosity. Yeah, it could, yeah, infiltrate. Yeah, because as, as we went to press, I said, oh, this is important, and I wanted to include, because I, the, the syllabus of Sobel just recently came to my attention. Yeah, yeah, the syllabus in Atenea, that would have been good. Syllabus. Syllabus. Syllabus of his course. Mm -hmm. They have to look at that. But I could include that in his, because uh, he also had a tree of modernism. Well, it had a school at his own. So I, I could just compile all these trees. Those two trees, there are two trees. And I say like this. What is the other one? Or is that the other one? Maybe. But, but I know definitely uh, as a tree. Uh, like uh, the tree, like uh, when they explain modern art, uh, so they had a tree, and it had a set of tree. In fact, it had a set of two. Two trees. So, like there are three trees. So that would be the second book, the one that goes so, Yeah, like to say that how they tried to imagine modern art. So I could include the so tree, something like in that next book, no, where M and M break will be will come up, you, you will therefore include art that has been produced during the time of war and occupation. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what, so art during be, war, uh, yeah. yeah. Because art during war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hindi na tatake in books, pero tinatake sa scholarship, pero hindi na shadow. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We just start to learn, so... Collaboration. For propaganda. Propaganda. And also comics. Oh, yeah, comics. Comics. So that will be part of the. Uh, there should be a section of that. Huh? What about cinema? Cinema, yeah. But only if there is some. Um, I should find an entry point, otherwise it becomes too broad. So I only included in this time because. Oh, my yeah, because of Carlos Francisco. Uh, because of Carlos Francisco. Mm -hmm. So if, if there is an entry point. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. No, 1920s. Uh, yeah. Uh, so if there is an entry point into another field by way of an agent in the visual arts field, then it can be, you know, it can be included. I think there are some, there have been some papers. Uh, pieces that delve into telones, into the visual component of other in the for the oh. oh. yeah. yeah. And then also for photographic studios, telones. Oh. Uh, so, but I'm also trying to control, as it, otherwise it becomes empty. But if it's an introductory, <laughs> okay, now you can have to say that we engage other oh, yeah. researchers. Oh, 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 yeah. And it's entry point name? Uh, uh, yeah, and the, the, the invitation is for other things to be ready to work. Not for this to become the, some kind of. Pasa mo kang pala tatu art. Pag hindi kayo sa sana sa ano na yung 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 Well, we gave them. We gave them that. We gave them that. It's a distribution point. Mainland. It's a mainland. Yeah, and 
I don't know if you have suggestions on how to distribute this book. Free books. <laughs> 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 That's because that's the problem now. But would be all libraries have been given. I mean, yeah. I asked, I, I, I personally told the publisher we should a lot of books, and, and more books should be given to public schools. Because uh, I, I think in the K-12 development is done in the K-12 bibliography for mm -hmm. uh, the introduction of Philippine art to high school, mm -hmm. to in high school, especially those going to the arts mm -hmm. class. foundation that can be set up, maybe a grant can be done or mm -hmm. asked for just to supply yeah. those books. So they will pay the 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 foundation will yeah. pay first. I think that you know if you just get a good grant writer and touch the hearts of uh, mm -hmm. art the two things. And they will uh, like yeah. buy uh, and then that awesome. supply supply the educational uh, system with those books. You're, you're, hitting, you're hitting two birds with... Yeah, one grant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just one grant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yes. So, then I got to be done. So, yeah. But the retail is low. No, but, but you know... The retail is, I mean, uh -oh. glacial is low. No, but if you hit, because the... If somebody gives the imprimatur, di ba? You get one grant. Maybe it can also sell out in the international ah, scene. Okay. Yung, yung kumbaga sa, no, if it becomes to be one of the standards in Philippine art education, di ba? Baka yung nga lang, patat ka na. Parang yung 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 problem to because it's the series, uh -huh. the uh, support fatigue. Yeah. The support yeah, fatigue. The, uh, the problem is the support fatigue. I mean, uh, I mean, you don't go to the same, I mean, yes. keep on going to the same people yes. for support. Yes. If you have five books, no? oh, here, 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 so if it's one book, maybe we can just marshal all the support at one time. But you will go to them five times. Will it be the same people who will help you? So this is the, like the donor fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why uh, the retail should move independently. Mm -hmm. But we, but, we, we but that dynamic hasn't been put into play. That, that dynamic of retail, like people buying, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No, we, for this one, the publisher has um, largely depended on corporate sales. Mm -hmm. Corporate sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then <laughs> the, the retail.
them to find out which which of they would be looking but I don't know if it would drive the market prices of the pieces artificially you know I don't know yeah, yeah. thank you Patrick thank you thank you Yeah. <laughs> 